Good day again, this is Damian from Fixfin PC and in today's video we are going to show you how to connect to a DSC1832 power series alarm panel using the PC Link communicator and the weird little quirks you can encounter while doing so. Alright, so stay tuned as we dive into it. So on the DSC panel you will see a connection on the power series that says PC link right? it's gonna say CON2 on the board actually but this is where you plug in your PC link adapter right your PC link adapter goes in here see where that white line is the board of it is what is gonna line up with that and the other side with the connector is gonna be on top alright so what you wanna note from your panel one there's two things the panel type this one is a 1832 and the version number which is 4.60 NA or for North America this is going to be important because you're going to have to pick this from a list of panels and you want to make sure you have the right one otherwise the connection is not going to work all right so once you have your panel basically set up or not or you just want to configure a few things beforehand like zones and other little tidbits before you actually put wires into the connectors this is how you go about it so first things first get your PC link cable make sure it's connected to your computer and now you're going to remember the board side and the connector side so now you're going to make sure the board side is at the white line so now we connect right so now we've connected to the board and now we're going to go over to the computer and i'll show you this weird little thing you have to do just to make sure it connects so over the computer you're going to open your dls5 software i have mine open already and what you're going to do you're going to make a new account all right give the account a name dsc dash. 1832 uh, let's put one for now right leave the account group as root now you're going to look for the panel here all right so you're going to go 1832 version 4.6 now you notice you don't see a na that's all right just select the 4.6 right if it's asked for the pstn you can just put a full number, just put arbitrary number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can change this later on, but this is just for the uh, communicator to communicate, not the communicator, sorry, for this software to communicate with the panel. So the number is not really that important at the moment. What is important, however, is your panel ID code. Your panel ID code usually by default is 1832 with two zeros on the end. But the DLS access code is something different. Now, to get your DLS access code, you would have to go to your panel. Go to your panel, open your keypad, and type in your installer code. Oops, my code is a little bit different, sorry. Right, and then you're going to go to section 403. And this is where you're going to find that DLS access code. So mine is 183232. So that is what we're going to enter over here. So you can just start to that, make note of this. All right, close that up, take that information and enter it the program all right now we're gonna hit create and it's gonna create the account now that the account is created double click all right once you double click you're gonna hit global upload once you select the global upload this is where it gets interesting because you want to make sure that you have the right connection so 
we're going to choose PC link, right? Make sure the access code is right, the device ID is right, and everything here is left as it is. Now, when you select this, I hit OK, you're going to see the efficiency go up. What you need to do when you see the efficiency all green is just move this off and put it back on. And then you will see that it starts to communicate and the progress bar moves up. Now, this is quite weird to me because previously I never had to do that. Maybe it's just this panel, but I've tried it with another panel, a DSC uh, Neo, the Power Series Neo, and I had to do the same exact thing. I have two of the PC Link uh, kits. I've tried them both, and it's the same exact thing. It's one of those weird little bugs that you have to deal with sometimes, so just be mindful of that. Now, the progress will come along. Uh, the speed will vary depending on your machine and depending on the panel. All right? But it usually takes a minute before it makes the full progress. So I will rejoin you when it does. Once it's completed, you may or may not get this message. If you've been in the panel before, like I have been, you will get this message. If not, uh, you can just hit OK. It's no worries. Remember, it's telling you what it's finding. This is just you looking at the configuration. You have not made any changes yet. So once you're in there, now you can hit Signature Graphic, which brings up like a general overview dashboard of what is there uh, from what I can see I have the board then I have the keypad and then I have a zone expander that's all connected that's all enrolled on this key on this uh, panel and also I can see the different zones that I have programmed I have a panic button program I have a motion sensor program in there uh, just for testing purposes it's just basically my lab um, so I just have these things there and from here you can go in you can you know check different user codes this is just one user I have you can make up to let me see send me two users on this right here you can program them different attributes and all that you know go through the basics there's different um, there's different options here all of this you would find via the keypad but on the computer you can go through make these changes in mass and then push down to your panel it saves you time from pressing all those buttons and you could probably see what you're doing a lot better than reading it on the keyboard where you have to go back and forth between options just to cross reference things whereas in this software you can go back and forth a lot faster you can reference things a lot faster you can screenshot settings if you like you can save the settings you know use this one and you can save it so that you can pull up the settings without connecting and just look and see what it's supposed to be and do things of this sort. You know, you can check the communications, you know. Uh, one other nice feature I like about the software is that if you know the same, um, the same code that you enter on the keypad, you can enter it here. Like for instance, we entered 403, we can go look for option 403 here and hit enter and it'll pull up, hey, that's a DLS access code. Then you just double click on it and it'll take you there. So now you can go to the DLS access code directly and be like, oh, this is the value and you could change it here and all of that. And same thing with the panel ID. You see there's a number next to it and then there's the feature or the item you want to program. It applies if you have the manual, you can run through the manual here as well. If you're looking for something very specific and you can't find it, you just type in a number that's on the manual. You can go to the setting here directly, right? And you can go to the option name search as well. So if I search for, let's say, Panel ID. Let's look for panel ID, see what happens. You search, there you go, panel ID code. Let's say we want to find um, uh, user, users. See, user, too many results. Please define your search criteria. See, it was too many results. So you can come here and get user one code, user two, user three. You know, the search function is very, very helpful. All right? Apart from all of that, you can get a status. Um, on things you know panel voltage if you have the battery there you can check the voltage from here you know and you can even get a status report right here get a status report 
Tele zone activity when last something happened. Service history, bypass zones. It's a brief little overview, which you can now export in F, uh, PDF or XML format that you can you know send to somebody for them to read. All right, and it gives you the account code for the system. You know the panel type uh, uploaded and the dates, system date and time. So you know all this good stuff. All right, so that's how you can connect to a DSC 1832 power series panel. It'll work for basically any power series panel, uh, the power series Neo panels that have the PC link there. On the Neo panels, you have to use the PC link 2, not the PC link 1. Uh, one random weird reason for that, but you know, it is what it is. Follow their rules, right? And you can find all this written in their manuals, which you can get online and download as well. All right. So this has been Damien from Fixing PC. Hopefully you learned something today, you found it helpful, and I'll see you on the next video.